Good morning. It's Wednesday, October 28th, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, What Else? And our scripture is Matthew's Gospel, chapter 19. Someone came to Jesus with this question, Teacher, what good deed must I do to have eternal life? Why ask me about what is good? Jesus replied, there's only one who is good. But to answer your question, if you want to receive eternal life, keep the commandments. Which ones? the man asked. And Jesus replied, you must not murder, you must not commit adultery, you must not steal, you must not testify falsely, honor your father and mother, love your neighbor as yourself. I've obeyed all these commandments, the young man replied. What else must I do? Jesus told him, If you want to be perfect, go and sell all your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you'll have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. But when the young man heard this, he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Matthew, Jesus' tax collector turned disciple apostle, knew what it was to keep the scorecard. He knew about adding up the debits and credits to balance the score. If Matthew wasn't telling his own story, it might as well have been his. He was a Jew collecting the Roman emperor's taxes from his fellow Jews. Matthew knew what it was to have power and riches and prominence. He also knew what corruptive possibilities came with each, and the weight of being an outcast among your own people. This story was also recorded by Mark and Luke. It must have been hardest for Matthew to see this young man walk away from Jesus. Knowing the allure of piling up money to keep you free of the cares of everyday living costs and the fear of returning to poverty must have reminded the former mover and shaker of what used to be so important. This was a stark reminder of what he used to be and a powerful contrast to what he'd become. The requirement of entering the surrendered life of following Jesus without reserve is no small thing. Another somewhat different take on the rich young man who chose his 401k over Jesus' offer of eternal riches is that he really wasn't serious about the question he asked. He may have been serious, but what if he was only looking for Jesus to sign his report card? What if the young man was really saying to Jesus, I've listened to your preaching these past several months, all that stuff about being perfect. Look here at my life. I've not murdered, stolen, or told lies. I take care of my parents who are aged and can't support themselves. What else? What else do I have to do to be good with God? But perhaps the man had listened to Jesus' Sermon on the Mount, which Matthew also recorded, and maybe it had somehow gotten in his head that he might have missed something. That preacher or prophet had even said it loud and clear, those who followed him must be perfect, even as Jehovah in heaven was perfect. The rich young ruler's question may have been driven by sleepless nights, trying to convince himself that he was already a good man, having lived a moral life. He always tried to do everything right. What else? Did I leave anything out? There's almost a passive anger about his question. Who is this preacher anyway? He doesn't know me. He has no idea the pressures I face every day. I gotta talk to this guy. I gotta show him how I've lived a good life. Surely that's enough, even for God. And so the young man did just that, and the question came out, what else? And then the answer came out, everything. Everything that's standing in your way of truly worshiping God, that's what else. Jesus knew the man's net worth was what mattered most to him, and therefore the biggest obstacle to this man's eternal life. The doctor from Nazareth wrote the prescription, give away everything that will eventually rust and rot and have no value, then bring the only eternal thing you really have, your soul, and let me light it up with eternal life and joy. Unfortunately, the rich young ruler, accustomed to wheeling and dealing in the financial big leagues, couldn't see the best opportunity he'd ever encountered. For you today, the word for us today is, take Jesus at his word. 
because it's a sad thing to walk away from eternal life and joy for a little more of what this world thinks is best. Lord, save us from having to ask the question, what else? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.